hello. How are you doing, guys? Hey, uh, hey, thank you for the good wishes. Yeah, so basically we we're kind of disappointed for the results. But uh, so right now we know that we have to improve a lot and try like even harder. So we're just kind of chilling right now, knowing what to do and hoping for the next season and mm -hmm. um, see what, what we can do better. I mean, speaking of one of the things that you did really, really well in this particular series, you busted out this Earthshaker. You were the first team to pick this up at all within the North American region. The hero also does not really utilize that much in the DPC in general. Why do you think this hero isn't picked that much? And what is it about the hero that made it so good for this game number two? Uh, I think there's the strongest heroes right now, like Tiny. There's plenty, like, uh, four heroes right now that are kind of popular, so it kind of makes Shaker lower the priority. But uh, I like the hero a lot. I'm level, like, almost 30. So I, we tried in some couple of screens and kind of worked out. So I see the opportunity for this game because uh, we had uh, Brute. So with, I kind of can give him a lane with uh, Earth Shaker. So yeah, we went for it. We needed some stones, some team fight, So it kind of fit well. And also I wanted to have fun. So <laughs> in the last game, I asked my drafter, just give me Shaker, man. I want to have some fun. I played Ricky already three times. <laughs> uh, having fun is one of the best things I've, I mean, you have been playing quite a lot of Ricky. I'm also curious about something. You've had a pretty long career in Dota. You've been playing for a very long time at a very high level. But most of your time you've been spending playing within South America. You only played once in North America for JSTORM and then Business Associates, which was, you know, pretty much the same roster. Can you talk to us about what communications or how the communication styles between South America are different from some of the teams you've played with now in North America? Uh, back in the days, North America was like more professional, like you say, but right now SA has grown a lot. And it's like, uh, I always knew the skill level in SA was really high, so it's only a matter of time that uh, you get some structure and you get some really good teams. So right now, SA is popping off and it's probably better than, than NA, not gonna lie. And I'm very proud for it and I kind of was part of it, so I have nothing to say than good things uh, about SA Dora right now. It's gonna be better for the future, I think. All right, hello, Moose. So first question I have for you is, how the hell did you end up on bait? Like I first looked at, <laughs> you know, the, the Wikipedia page, I was like, I see four Ukrainians, the Eastern European org coming in. I'm like, wow, and then there's Moose is on that team. A little surprising. How did that happen? Hey man, long time no see. Yeah. Uh, so basically, yeah, I was uh, looking at my options. And I was uh, trying to play for NA. So I was looking for a, a couple teams I can play. And yeah, I, then they contacted me and I, I liked the idea and I wanted to try some new things, you know, it's like one I wanted to get out of my comfort zone, you know, uh, going to another country with some new teammates and try. Uh, I just I just like to get out of my comfort zone and pushes me to improve. So that's what I, that was, that's what I felt I, I needed to be, be a better player. And yeah, I, I've been feeling like much better as a, as a player. I've been feeling like uh, I have been improving in this months so it's uh, it's going good for me i feel like i have more room for improvement so so yeah i'm like uh have a lot of hopes for my future as long as i i keep improving all right so next question is good do you guys have a coach and if you don't i'm actually do you have a coach it will be the first question uh no we, we don't have a coach we are okay. kind of looking for one because we are a new stack so it was kind of hard to look for a, a coach so who does like the strategy then most of the preparation the drafting and general strategy for the team so it's uh i would say between dendy and Lo no funny and Lodan. yeah they they sit each and just discuss the strategies but it's basically like everyone you know we don't have a coach so everyone has to uh, give some info what they want to play and what can work for us all right, so I, last question here is going to be like, so Shopify Rebellion, TSM, like kind of like swept the region here. Like, what do you think it was about these teams specifically that made them so successful and like something you can add to your gameplay to, you know, maybe get at them next season? Uh, first of all, I think the individual level of, of these teams are very high. So if, if we want to win, we got to get to that level like individually. And second, I think they have a really good structure and they know the game pretty well. They have a really good macro. So second of all, we need to improve on that if we want to catch up, you know? So that's basically what we want to work on um, in order for us to, to beat them. So, so yeah. All right, hey Moose, and congrats on your on your win and getting to stay in Division One. I. I wanted to ask you. You talked a bit about uh, your options, looking for a team that you wanted to play with and get with the Dendi idea. What has been the driving factor for you to play with Bait? 
Uh, as I said, it was like the getting out of my comfort zone. I mm -hmm. wanted to like uh, play in a new environment so I can push myself. Uh, so it was basically that. That was like the main factor for me. All right. All right. Not sure. Not really anything else. So to follow up on that as well, uh, since Bait is the only team in Division One of North America without an American player, uh, do you guys maybe have some different ideologies to how you approach the game? And have you maybe learned some new aspects and points of views to Dota during these uh, last few weeks? Yeah, so it's kind of like uh, this team is we are sharing like a lot of deals of CIS Dota and like SA Dora because I'm, I'm the one from SA but it's basically like a general knowledge I think is we're looking at every region and see what they play how they play and trying to uh, adjust to our, our like a uh, play style but it's not really like a defined play style I would say we're just uh, gathering information from every region and uh, seeing what worked for us I think all right all right thank you something I'm also curious about Moose is that the fact that over the last couple of years the results haven't necessarily been that kind for you, and nor for Dendi as well. Actually, for most of the players in the team, things haven't been working out as perfectly as they have been. How have you made sure that you still keep your motivation going into the game, that you don't fall into complacency, you don't just quit, but you keep that drive going to keep playing and improving? Uh, yeah, thanks for the question. It's very really rough for me. I mean, at least for me, I know for Dendi, so it's hard to keep up the, the motivation, you know, but uh, I still see the goal and the player can be, and try to not like quit and keep uh, moving forward. So I'm really happy that I'm with Dendi because he's the most positive guy, you know? It's like, he's been through a lot too and he's like still positive. And for me, it's kind of like uh, a little bit hard, a little bit harder, I would say, but uh, I'm lucky I'm, I'm with Dendi because he's the most uh, positive guy I could ever have. And it kind of motivates me a, a little bit. So it's, it's, it's fun to, to be here and yeah, to keep improving. All right, and uh, now that you have been able to make some of the improvements and adjustments throughout the season and guarantee a spot in the next tour, what are you guys going to do to celebrate? This is a momentous occasion. It might be a disappointing one, but you know, still, you've made a, a lot of progress. So do you have any plans to celebrate, or are you just going straight back into the grind? Uh, so we leave tomorrow, I think. We are in Mexico right now. So we might, I don't know, we might drink some, some tequila from the night and hey. keep the guys tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, when you have some tequila on us as well, you know. So, Moose, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for the season. And we will see you in tour number two. Congratulations on the victory tonight. Thank you. See you guys. Thank you for the interview.